In this video, we will learn about Adobe Firefly, an AI-powered generative tool which can help you generate images, videos, audio, and vector files. So let's start. Let us start with image generation. So you will see a section called as featured, which will have handpicked features from these four categories. So I will not go into this feature section since some of the features may then get repeated. So I'll start with image here. In order to create an image, you can either click here or you can find image from here. And here you can describe the image that you want to generate, rainy street in Paris, night. I can click on generate. It will open this for me where I can see that the prompt is mentioned over here. And now rainy street at night in Paris has been created in different styles. And these generations look so similar to a real life image. It doesn't seem like it is AI generated. And these four, if you see, it looks so real. So of course, that's expected of Adobe. It's uh, a leading tool. It's the poster boy of uh, creativity. So that's about uh, image generation. Here you can find different models. Image for Ultra is only for premium users. You can go with the previous uh, model, Image Firefly 3. And you can also use non-Adobe models, Imagine 3 and GPT Image. For that, you will again need a premium. So these are commercially safe, which means uh, since AI does not have copyrights, you can use this for commercial purposes also. Here, if I change the view, it will show me uh, a single view where I can scroll and I can see the images. Or I can go to the tile view where I can see all of them like this. If I click here, it will give me the generation history of what all images I have generated so far. I can also favorite some of them from here, which can be seen over here. I can also control the aspect ratio of the images. There are multiple aspect ratios you can choose from. The content type can be a photo, which is like this, a realistic photo. You can also have art if you want. Here you can have paintings and other things which are not realistic images. And you can also switch on auto. So based on the prompt, it will select which is the best content type for you. Now, if you want user defined composition for an image, you can have that over here as a reference or there are some template references here. For example, if I want an image of a river and a mountain, but I want that image to be of this style, this composition, then I can give this as a reference and then create an image. If I want it to have such composition of contrast. There is white in the background. There is a little bit of, uh, you know, tables and some objects in the front. I can also use this composition or I can upload them from this gallery. here. I can also change the strength of the composition. How much do I want Adobe to take reference from the composition? That is something I can try from there. Then there are styles also different styles, whether you want sketch, whether you want emoji kind of a thing, or if you want something very vibrant, glowy, or if you want pattern. So you can give these references to Adobe Firefly, where you will get specifically made images. Now effects also, you can have multiple effects here. You can toggle all to see all of them, or you can toggle one of them. These are popular effects. And so all and popular is more of a category. You can then look at each one of them here. Now movements. Now there are about 10, 15 ones here. Maximalism, for example, would mean that there's a lot of content in there. Minimalism will be very minimum. Industrial will be a style which is very close to industrial photographs. For example, if you want factory related photographs that you want to make. Uh, pointillism is also there. So these are some advanced styles you can have. You can also select multiple at the same time they will appear here. So that way you can customize image generation. There are also different themes you can try, different techniques you can try. So if you are a creative person who has an idea of different styles of painting, sketches, you can go through all of it. And it's pretty hardcore uh, creative thing. You know, you know, people who usually don't work in paint and uh, creative fields may not know about all of these. So you can go into effects as well. You can go into materials and concepts. So this is a bit of an advanced thing that you can try. But for basic image generation, uh, just a prompt and an image works. You can have composition and styles as well. Color and tone, how you want the tone and the color to be. You can also choose that. Lightning is something you can choose. What kind of a light do you want? Dramatic light, golden or harsh light. 
long time exposure so it's very professional the options that are there camera angle close up shot from above wide angle so these are very extensive customizations i have not seen any other ai tool offer these many customizations so this is about image generation now there are a few more options in images as you can see there is generative fill also so you can use a brush to remove objects or you can also paint in new ones using generative fill let's see how it goes let me uh, select a sample over here let me go with this one and generative fill let's see here it says drag to select and then insert remove or change content i can select it i can remove it like this and then from whatever i have removed i can add something else let me remove this lighthouse and let me add so now a ship has been generated though it is a little distorted it is not very accurate but uh, this is something you can try you can go back right on the prompt but i feel the generative fill is not that optimized so far i can also remove certain parts from this if i click here I'll cancel this and uh, i can remove sections i can also expand it so we can have more of the sky up or more of the water below and you can have that in multiple aspect ratios wide screen will mean that it will add more stuff at the edges portrait will mean it will add more stuff at the top and the bottom let me go with wide screen and generate and use this to pan for that let me see how it can expand using generative fill it is filled in a ship over here and it has uh, extended the sky very accurately done and download it from here you can share it here and you can also submit an idea report a bug or give your feedback from here i can also pan the image around and uh, if i have a bigger image i can zoom out zoom in to certain sections and then start working into a certain section i can remove tiny details as well so that is about uh, generative fill the scene to image is a premium feature only available in the beta version generative expand is the same as generative fill text effects and generate template are also premium features so apart from that uh, you can definitely use firefly for free with all the remaining features that's about image generation let's move on to video generation now there is text to video image to video and translate video let's see how text to video works so i can write in a video that i want to create here i'll add the same thing rainy street in paris at night and click on generate you cannot close the tab generation will not happen in the background you have to keep this browser tab open so this is the video that has been generated it barely took about 4 5 seconds and the video quality is decent it's a well made video 5 seconds and you can maximize it download it from here so that's about that firefly video is the model if you want vo2 you will have to add it only for premium users you can increase the resolution from here you can have different aspect ratios the frames is fixed to 24 fps let me see if i can change that in any way no it will always remain fixed at 24 fps now here just like we had in photos in videos also you have different camera angles extreme close up close up shot medium shot long shot extreme long shot this is professional videography related customizations camera angle aerial eye level high angle low angle top down shot so you can have very specific videos made from this motion has to be zoom in zoom out like for example this one was uh, more of uh, i would say a medium shot and it was more of a zoom out video right so if you want to change that you can have zoom in move left move right tilt up tilt down static handheld for example static is very stable handheld will move a little more advanced settings now seed as we know uh, in the previous videos we have covered what a seed number is every generation will have a particular seed number associated with it so if you want the next video to look very similar to this i can copy this seed and then whenever i am generating a new video with different uh, settings but i want a similar style of video i can copy that seed number paste it here and then click on generate 
We'll also add frames. You can add the first frame from your gallery. You can also add the last frame from your gallery and then give it a prompt where it can make a video where your first frame and last frame is this. And in between, it will add video based on whatever the prompt is. So it's a very, very powerful video generation tool. I have not seen any other video generation tool as good as this. Now, image to video is, is the same thing which I showed you, adding frames, first frame, last frame. That's how it does it. Now, translate video. Now, this is a premium feature. We only have 40 seconds of complimentary translation generations. If I click on try now, I can upload a video here and then dub it into different languages. For example, they have a sample video over here with over 15 languages. This is the original one. Whenever you're planning to hike or travel in a state or national park. Now, let me have this in Hindi. Let me try this in Dutch. Wanneer je van plan bent om te wandelen of te reizen in een staat. So this is live dubbing. And again, the quality of the sample video, the way they have dubbed it is really good. You can choose any MP4, MOV, MP3, WAV or AAC file and do it. The file has to be between 5 seconds and 10 minutes. But for free users, it is only one time generation for less than 40 seconds. So you can try it and if you like it, if this is something you will regularly need, then you can also take a look at their premium features. Enhancing speech and text to avatar is still in beta version, but you can wait for it. And I don't know if it will be available for free users or only for premium, only time can tell us that. Coming to the audio section, just the way you could translate a video, you can also translate an audio. All you have to do is upload an audio file and it will give you an audio as an output. If you upload a video file, it will give you video as an output. Just the way I showed you before. So there's nothing new about this feature. Text to sound effects is again coming soon. Text to avatar in beta version. So I see that a few of these features are repeated because text to avatar involves audio generation as well as video generation. They have listed it in both of them. Voice to sound effects is also going to come soon. Last one is vector. Of vector files are files that use geometric shapes to generate themselves. These are uh, famous files meant for editing in uh, very premium uh, softwares or even Adobe softwares. So this is more of for people who are graphic designers or creative people. They use vector files, they edit uh, designs in vector files. So if you're a lame and you're not very sure of what vector file is, this is not for you, but you can uh, generate SVGs or vector files if you use Adobe, for example, Illustrator. It says that it's only available for played plans, uh, explore what's possible with up to 10 complementary generations. So that's what it is. It walks me through the entire process. So here you will not have Firefly image 4, only image 3 will be there. Content type, whether it's a subject or a scene, you can choose from here. Just the way we have before, you can choose styles and effects. Now you have to describe the vector you would like to generate. And just the way you have uh, a prompt that you write for this, you can have a prompt here. I have uh, made a prompt. Let me click on generate. Whatever file it generates will be an SVG file. So after waiting for about a couple of minutes, we have an SVG file and download it from here. You can click here to open that in Illustrator desktop. So it will create that SVG and uh, import it into Adobe Illustrator for desktop. If I click here, it will open the desktop app and uh, you will need to buy Illustrator, of course, and only then you will be able to use it. So if you're already Adobe Illustrator user, if you have it, you can directly import SVG files like that, or you can download it from there and give your feedback here. You can share it by copying the SVG file on your uh, clipboard and then paste it into your software. That's about text to vector. And with that, we have covered all the features of uh, Adobe Firefly. Boards is beta version. Whatever files you have generated can be seen here. Images, videos, or all. You can favorite any one of them and that will be shown here, like I showed you previously. This is the community gallery where you can take inspiration from some of them. You can uh, use them to understand how this uh, Firefly can work. You can also read at these prompts to see 
what kind of prompt will generate what and if you click on any one of them that entire thing will get reflected in your workspace and then you can change it change the style the reference you can work over already made designs as well so community is a pretty pretty handy thing to have you will see it in gallery about section if you want to read more about adobe and create with firefly uh, buy their premium view the plans and pricing you can take a look at that help section will be about all the faqs what this is all about how to access the app what each feature means so this is more of a guide that you can use if you have any questions about adobe so this is how they've made this entire tool it's a very potent and a very powerful tool so my verdict about this tool is that currently for text to image this tool is one of the best if not the best tool for image generation for video generation text to video this is by far the best i have not seen anything come as close to adobe there is a crucial update i want to add in this video when i was recording the video it didn't exist earlier i could see a limited number of credits that could be used per month and they would be replenished after the month you can see that in the blog uh, i'll add the link in the description this is how it used to be like even if you don't have a premium you will have certain number of credits left and they will get refreshed but not roll and over for the next month what's happening is in the latest update of adobe that has come a few days back i don't see that anymore in my profile you will not see anything here and uh, the new policy means that you can have one time generations and only 10 generations this is something that i found out on their blog and once you use up those 10 generations you cannot use firefly again this is an update i just wanted to tell you so you can still try out the tool So that's it from this video if you have any comments or any feedback about the video you can let us know in the comment section and to watch more videos make sure you stay tuned to tools to upskill